Guys, it's been a long time since we did a Pokemon news, and this is this video today. We're going to be doing Pokemon news, and I'm going to discuss with you exactly all the details about what's going on with Victini and Crown Tundra. We're also going to talk about Zarud. You guys have been asking me since, since I stopped taking orders for the Zarud tickets from here in Japan. You guys have been asking me if I can still do them, if I'm still getting you guys those Zaruds. Well, actually, it looks like we're not, I'm not going to need to anymore. Let's get into the details of that in a second. And we're also going to talk about Genesect, Volcanion, and, and Marshadow. And and they're all in Pokemon Sword and Shield as well with the Crown Tundra DLC. So along with his items as well, along with the uh, Genesex items which we saw a long time ago. And we're going to discuss Pokemon Sleep which looks like it's coming this year. So there's quite a lot of very juicy info. Let's get right through it all now. First up guys, I'm going to direct you to this website right here. This is the Pokemon.co.jp website. Now as many of you guys have known and spotted on is that uh, a lot of posts on social media showed you you were able to get these bad boys along with Master Balls and whatnot. Genesect, Volcanion, Marshadow and Master Balls and more. You were able to get these in the Crown Thunder because there's an event now but it's only in Japan and I'll explain what that event is exactly. It's a promotional event for selling Pokemon cards and it's going to be a points based system in which in Japan you're going to have to register your email address and upon registering your email address you're going to be able to do something with that after applying here with points that you get from buying Pokemon cards and that's going to give you different rewards here. You're going to be able to get some of these Dynite ores. You're going to be, it only shows the Dynite ores here but we'll show you the rewards in a second. You have to click right up here if you guys do happen to live in Japan or you do have a way to gain access to this, you have to click right up here to actually register and you can translate it to English if you want to try and do it but I am not going to because honestly it's just non-shiny Volcanions, not really that special. The rewards you can get after you buy Pokemon cards and in your pack the Pokemon cards are going to give you certain points and they go up to like 30 points and you get different awards from 1 to 30. 30 points being a Master Ball, 1 point being a Genesect by the way, 13 points being the Volcanion and 23 points being the Mars Shadows. And then you get also ball sets, you can get Sports and Safari Balls at 27 points and the other the other objects are not really that special, I'm just going to say, not particularly special. So I wouldn't waste my points on those. But either way guys, this is, event is live and you're able to get the Mars Shadows, the Volcanions, and the Genesis, where I think is the biggest thing that people are attracted to. So guys, these are the details of the Pokemon. I just translated it in English so you can kind of get a rough idea. And in Japan, they call Mythicals Phantom Pokemon, okay? So this is an ancient bug Pokemon, etc, uh, etc. Et its characteristic is Download and it's level 60, all right? It's going to have Techno Buster as a powerful move. Then we have the Volcanion, the Phantom Pokemon or whatever. That's going to be level 62. It has Water Absorb, which is very cool. It's really, really powerful. Here's a picture of it in the game and it's going to have steam burst okay so that's pretty cool the last one is Mars Shadow level 60 it's going to have technician as its ability and its move is going to be shadow steel I don't think it's going to exactly be that but we'll see what it is exactly whatever the special move is so all of these guys are coming in the game and the master balls and all the other stuff too I mean we will be able to do giveaways on this stuff if you guys stick around long enough if people have a high demand for these I will be able to get my hands on these legit gift gift Pokemon absolutely no problem however uh, I don't know if they're popular none of them are shiny just keep that in mind none of them are shiny at all I just thought it was worth mentioning in case you guys are interested in how this is working out so pokemon.co.jp and it's a new challenge get to challenge guys just a very very short message I just got a new sponsor pure VPN and I have a link for it down below I'm not gonna flood you with lots and lots of details but they do have various plans which if you need a VPN you can totally check out with the link the affiliate link down below in the description under the partners section that's all I'm gonna say on that one. Speaking of partners guys, we actually made partnership on Discord. Congratulations to everybody who's been part of this community all the way so far. We've now made partnership on Discord, so that's big news. And then we also have a big Discord community for new people who want to join us. The link for that is also down below. Next story is about Zarud, guys. Now, Zarud event is happening really soon in the West. According to Central Pokemon Leaks, who has a very good contact within the journalism community. Now, if you don't know what Central Pokemon Leaks is, guys, this is the account that gave us all these super, super early leaks of Crown Tundra before Crown Tundra dropped. This was the only source of all that stuff. And the reason they had been able to do that is because of their connection with journalists who got early access with the to the uh, review copy, preview copy of Crown Tundra. And and got to play it and got to break the non-disclosure agreement with this guy and just released all the information for us. So these guys know. These guys have actually specifically seen content, US specific materials detailing the actual event for Zarud in America. There's a guess, I guess it's a, just a 
educated guess that's going to be happening in Europe at some point similar timing not exactly the same time but somewhere around there and so very soon is not specific either but it's going to be I mean they ask you know is it going to be Zarud at the normal Zarud or the data Zarud it's going to be the normal guys he says probably normal it's going to be the normal for sure They're, they we only got the normal Zarud in the Japan event over here and I gave you guys tickets for that I did the whole orders for tickets as well I did free giveaways as well for the normal Zarud. These are the four different Zaruds. This is the Zarud you guys are going to be getting. This is the regular green Zarud uh, with no cape, uh, non shiny that we got here in Japan. This is the shiny version, which is illegal and you should not be able to get it. This is the data version. The data version is with the cape and a slightly different Pokedex entry, and that is unavailable too. That is also illegal, and you cannot even transfer these to home. And this is the shiny one. These are specifically the Zaruds, the data Zaruds. I don't know why just then, but they are even blocked from Pokemon Home. They will get a obliterated if you try to transfer them or you just can't transfer them so that's weird I don't know why they did that but obviously they have some big plans with the other forms of these Zaruds. Next is a cutout from the LSB magazine now I'm not a big LSB or a magazine person in general but apparently this magazine has got inside information on a new app releasing in the end of this year around the end of this career the fourth the fourth quarter of this year which means it's very likely going to be Pokemon Sleep. If you guys don't remember what Pokemon Sleep is it's the oddly controversial a little controversial app that Pokemon Go is going to be connected to which maps your sleeping patterns and it's going to reward you in Pokemon Go so it's going to connect somehow to that Pokeball plus Poke Pokeball plus plus a double plus you know and it's going to do all sorts of weird things like this so already Pokemon Go actually tracks a lot of our data such as movements and location and such uh, but now they want to track our sleep as well so that's why it was a little controversial but it is going to reward you now Pokemon sleep has been on the back burner for a long time we've been expecting it for a long time it's going to come with a new accessory and all sorts so I wonder how that's going to pan out that's very very likely the app they're talking about for the end of this year it's probably going to drop sometime as a big surprise around when Pokemon Go and Pokemon Home get connectivity that makes sense to me this also seems to build a lot of hype around the next year's Pokemon campaigns for the 25th anniversary of Pokemon and they're going to come out with a lot a lot of merch if you're interested in that but also big releases we are expecting at least three games of Pokemon coming out next year we got a mainline game that was leaked in certain data from before certain data mines we also got a uh, Pokemon Unite and we also have Pokemon Snap being developed by Bandai Namco so three big games that we are actually expecting uh, next year it's gonna be a very very busy year for us Pokejewers as for Pokemon Home Pokemon Go connectivity these details these little pieces of information and hardware have been already data mined in the Pokemon Go data. The home transporter Pokeball, a special Pokeball likely going to be used where you have to catch the Pokemon that you want to transfer to home eventually and it's going to have to be in a Pokemon home transporter ball. That's just possible. We don't know for certain about that but it does look like that. And then we have the home transporter item which is probably going to be another static item that's going to sit in your inventory that allows you the ability to just transfer to Pokemon home if of course you have one of these balls I guess and now that, that's just my guess that's my theory about this pokeball it's very very likely based on the fact that it's a separate item like this uh, it's not just going to suddenly be put into a pokeball as you put it in the home transporter that doesn't really seem right now keep in mind the pokemon go pokemon home transport is going to only work one direction from pokemon go to pokemon home and guys I highly recommend you don't bother transporting any of your shinies from pokemon go because in pokemon go believe it or not even though they're fairly easy to get in pokemon go are way more valuable in Pokemon Go than they are in Pokemon Home because now with the Pokemon Sword and Shield and Crown Tundra system it's very very easy to get shinies too as well with all the the bots and the hacks and all the exploits as well everybody has shinies going everywhere there's left right and center so honestly it's much harder to organize spoofing on Pokemon Go than it is to hack Sword and Shield I recommend you keep your shinies in Pokemon Go but of course the final decision is all yours it's all up to you and finally guys where's Victini in Crown Tundra everyone has been looking for him there's been a lot of theories about it and there have been nothing to give us any proof that Victini is actually in the game there's something I want to point out right now guys here's Victini in Pokemon Home's Pokedex and if you look down below where I'm here you can show it shows you what games are all in okay these are it's in X and Y it's in Alpha um, Sapphire right now and it's not in any of these and it's not in Pokemon Sword and Shield these are 
not it's not available in Pokemon Sword and Shield. At least not yet. So as a static counter, guys, if it was still available to be encountered similar to Regigigas and uh, the other Keldeo and all that, it would come up as available in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Genesect is the same, guys. This release has not happened yet in Pokemon Sword and Shield, so currently the mystery gift that you'll be getting from this is not alive yet. It's not happened yet. But Keldeo is. Keldeo is available in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And there it is. It's right there available in, in Sword and Shield. So looking at Victini right now, not being available in Sword and Shield, based off of the data mine, we know 100% it is a static encounter in there. This specifically is the data mine material for Victini, and it shows the details of it being a static encounter, a shiny locked, and all sorts. So as we know, guys, it is in the actual Crown Tundra game, but it's not available to be found. It's not a gift Pokemon either that we can find as of yet. It may be added in future updates, guys, so don't just hold your breath, I guess, for a little bit longer. So I think we're going to have to dispel the whole Victini myth. Uh, it's not there yet. It's not available for us to get. But there's new news on that, too. If you do have a Pokemon Victini in Pokemon Sword and Shield transferred from Pokemon Home, it's now legal to trade. And that also goes for its shiny form, too, guys. So you are are able to get a shiny hacked Victini which is going to be tradable in Pokemon Sword and Shield similar to a hacked shiny Keldeo. Keldeo and Victini are both shiny locked, you cannot obtain them but you can get them versus other means and they are tradable so you're going to be able to get your hands on those much easier now. So as of yet guys the only way you can get Victini is transferring it from Pokemon home. That's going to be it for this Pokemon news, don't forget to subscribe. I swear, there's a lot of stuff going on. We still got lots of videos to do for Crown Tundra and more Pokemon stuff too. I hope you enjoyed this Pokemon news. It was cram packed full of so much stuff. There's so much news. I can't even get my head around it all. I can't even do all the videos. But thanks for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. And do drop a like as well if you did. And I'll see you around in the next video. Till then, bye.